hardworking. Great and place to peaceful, grow. Peaceful. Smart. And they're smart and they're educated. Yeah. And it was always fun. I loved it up there. I yeah. just love the attitude of the place. I've yeah. met so many cool people in Canada. But but now Clinton Jaws, please subscribe. I'm almost at forty thousand subs. Wow. And yeah, I'm gonna talk about Joe Rogan again. Like it because the Joe Rogan stuff it's not really getting out there. Why am I gonna talk about him again? Because he's the largest voice in the entire world. And when he talks, people listen. And I want people to hear it. That's why I'm playing it on my channel. Let's watch it together because I have to. I don't want to get copyrighted. And the Canadians were like, because the Canadian identity is like, we're not American kind of thing. Right. And I was unapologetic. I went to New York. I'm like, this is the greatest goddamn city in the world. And which it is. And then, and then. And then I moved to L.A. when I had kids. I'm like, well, this is pretty fucking nice, too. <laughs> it's like, I used to want to live in Canada. I used to love Canada. I love Canada. Until Trudeau. Hey, don't get me wrong. I love Canada. Canada's a great place to grow up. I thought up about living in Vancouver. Yeah, it's beautiful. I was like, I could live in Vancouver. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, if shit hits the fan in the United States. I always felt like... It's a beautiful Canadian, country. And Canadians Canadian, are amazing people. They're amazing. Amazing people. I, I always feel like Canada has 20% less douchebags. That's, that yeah. was my feeling. When yeah. I used to do shows up there, yeah. we would all talk about it. We'd do a gig in Toronto. We'd do a, a gig in Montreal. Yeah. Not anymore. Montreal, Canada beautiful. Beautiful. is beautiful. the best. The best. I love it up there. Yeah. I love the people. They're friendly and yeah. hard. Rogan won't even come back to Canada. They're working. Great and place to peaceful. Grow. Smart. And they're smart. And they're educated. Yeah. And it was always fun. I loved it up there. I yeah. just love the attitude of the place. I've yeah. met so many cool people in Canada. But? But now, the, the way Trudeau is running it, it scares get out of me i'm like you guys are sliding into communism what? you're sliding every day they push a little bit further a little bit further yeah. i mean if you don't get rid of that guy if you don't turn that thing around you're f yeah look i've seen a lot of things happen in canada where yeah, we are to me it's it's government shouldn't run things at all like if if, if we can uh you got that from, right what does that mean it means like Universal health care. So when I grew up, it was good. You could go to any hospital. The doctors were all good. Some of the best doctors in the world. Da, 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 da. And then because they didn't manage it correctly and it got too big, it got too government, like 80 cents of every dollar was going to managing it rather than the doctors. So they left. They came down here. There was a big brain drain. And now you can't get a doctor. You can't get a doctor. You sign up and wait for three years. It's like the NHS in, in the UK or something. Mine's out and of town. it just doesn't work because the government's too big. It's just, it's, you know, once you get the government involved, it becomes like a welfare program. You're just paying all kinds of people to work on the thing, that, but no one's doing the actual thing that they're supposed to work on. Right. The health care. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. So it's, it's a problem. Anyway, there you have it. Got to get rid of this guy. Leave a comment. Do you think we will? <laughs> What are we waiting for? <laughs>